Hundreds of thousands of dollars in RICO funds used inappropri inappropriately by the Pima County Sheriff's Department could be the center of a new investigation. Nine on your side, investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos has been following this case from the beginning, and she has a rundown of exactly who was involved in that money laundering scheme. Nine on your side first uncovered the lavish banquet and expenditures by the Pima County Sheriff's Department on Monday. Former Chief Deputy Chris Rackey admitted to money laundering charges in a case that had been going on for 18 years. He reached a plea deal and was sentenced to three misdemeanors. Now we're digging deeper to find out who was involved in the misuse of RICO funds. A startling revelation by the former Chief Deputy Chris Rackey in federal court. Rackey admitted he played a part in the money laundering scheme that scanned nearly two decades. He became involved in the practice roughly six years ago while assigned as the Administrative Services Division Commander. He confessed. His superiors explained to him how the scheme worked so the Sheriff's Department could use the funds free of any restrictions. Who were they? His superiors? Pima County Sheriff's Department of organizational charts covering 10 years show two people, former Sheriff Clarence Dupnik and Chief of Staff Brad Gagnepain, who killed himself after being questioned by the FBI. The U.S. attorney prosecuting the case confirmed Gagnepain played a key part in the scheme and others were involved. Multiple police officers, including those in higher leadership positions, but we did not have the evidence against them. What do the records reveal about Dupnik's involvement? Documents show he requested the transfer of RICO money into the Sheriff's Auxiliary Volunteers of Tucson. Racky told the court he approved internal Sheriff Department memos requesting RICO funds. No other details were given. We didn't find any memos requesting RICO money with his signature in the stack of documents Kega 9 received. But we discovered 12 memos sent to the Pima County Attorney's Office requesting RICO money to fund the SAV. Only two command staff names appear on all of those requests over seven years. First, Sheriff Dubnik. This is one of the memos to the deputy county attorney requesting $75,000 and the check made out to the sheriff's auxiliary volunteers. Records reveal Dubnik requested a total of $558,000 from 2010 to July of 2014. His signature stamped on the memos. Then Chris Nanos took over the task, first as chief deputy and then sheriff, requesting nearly $210,000 in 2015 and 16. Here is one of the requests for $150,000. His initials appear on the memos. I recently reached out to both Nanos and Dupnik after receiving all the documents but haven't received a response. Before the indictment, Dupnik and Nanos vehemently denied any misuse of RICO funds under their leadership. We are still waiting to hear from the new sheriff, Mark Napier, who is considering asking for a state investigation. We are continuing to dig into the mountains of documents to find out how this had gone on for so long and all those who had been involved. Back to you. Valerie, thank you.